been playing for many years, and we're just getting new ideas all the time for this. So it's one of those ongoing evolutionary concepts in our music. And uh, we've been playing together every day safely, and we encourage everyone to be the change, be the soul force, be positive, be helpful, and uh, help others, especially. Think of those who are, who are sick today, think of those who are struggling, um, and enjoy this day. Thanks again for joining us here. Like all concerts with sitar and cello, we'll start with extensive tuning to make sure we're really there in tune. That's plenty right. Of, plenty of space. So, stay comfortable. Grab whatever you need. Sit back and relax from the comfort of your couch or your yoga mat or wherever you're sitting. And, uh... Um, We also want to acknowledge one of the great soul force icons. I want to say Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King, who was assassinated on April 4th, which was yesterday. Bless the spirit, that Christ love spirit that shone through him and the nonviolence and the truth teller that he brought to the world. This, this piece is about hope for our future and share whatever you feel on, online in the discussion and we, this is kind of what this is about for us just to encourage one another. Remember that the word courage is contained in encourage. So it's a wonderful thing to do to strengthen our minds and hearts and 
our immune system too because when we uh, show courage we're stronger and we're stronger for others and then there's less fear so uh, let's let's dwell on that and may this be a prayer for all that thanks again for being here
And um, we are going to continue, just retune for the next piece. So if you have any thoughts on the themes we're talking about, please, please do share it wherever you are, whether on Facebook or YouTube, or just with the people you're with. Just uh, be encouraged in these tough times. Thank you. 
We've got around 75 people tuning in from around the world. All right. Thanks for coming in, everyone. Bryce Samar was uh, impressed with your your toe talents. Who was? Uh, Bryce Lamar. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know you had such toe skills. So. I've been working on the toe rhythms, you know. If drummers can do it, why can't sitar players? Use their feet for Bryce, music. Bryce has got a lot of toe control himself. <laughs> I bet you can show us finger two. <laughs> All that yoga he does. All right. tuning in that's kind of cool about this technology yo Pete what do you say usually people got to be driving to concerts or here in LA at least you know very few we can walk to much less yeah. sit at home I can think of a lot of positives about that situation no DUIs <laughs> uh, no uh, <laughs> accidents on the road yeah there is something about having people in a room physically together. That is true. That we all miss. But, um, but here we are. It would be hard if it's 75 people in this room. Oh yeah. And so uh, it's it would be great a, to all have you have you all here. We even got the festival of Tabla YouTube channel. Uh, Hanging out with us. Wow. All right. Thank you, Festival of Tabla. Rupesh and Mona, this is a call out to you. We love you. Stay strong. Stay healthy. The whole Katecha family, you guys are doing a work of love and service. So keep it up. You're one of the artistic treasures of greater Los Angeles, brother and sister. So we're going to play uh, a traditional piece with a twist now, as if we didn't just do that, but this is uh, a very old composition we're going to play uh, by, you could say, my grand guru, the guru of Pandit Ravi Shankar and Ustad Alaya Farkhan, whose birthdays are both this coming week, by the way, April 7th and April 14th. So excited to celebrate that. But the guru and father of Ustad Ali Akbar Khan, this is, this is him right here, Alaudin Khan Saab, Ustad Alaudin Khan Saab, he wrote this composition in a piece called, in a raga, called Zila Kafi. And I was taught this by my guru Pandit Raji Tarnath. And we just love to play this composition because it's kind of like, don't know the head from the tail it's it starts on a weird beat and sneaks around and just has all these different ins and outs to it 
and then we're gonna do a little, a, a few little time improvisations on this, and uh, and wrap this one up. This is Zila Coffee, composition by Ustad Alavin Khansab, one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century. So it's it's an honor to be uh, part of this Garana, this school of music, the My Heart Garana, and especially celebrating that uh, starting today and this coming week as we recognize uh, the great uh, birthdays of these masters, these maestros of India, Ustad Ali Akbar Khan, Pandit Ravi Shankar, and Ustad Aladdin Khan, who wrote this composition. This is in the raga Zila Kafi. And for all you out there sharing what you're doing, I uh, want to talk about being safe and what brings you, uh, what inspires you to help others. So that's kind of the theme maybe you want to share about if you feel so inclined.
such an honor to be part of this lineage and this tradition and it's a creative tradition as we know this improvisational classical music of South Asia and I'll come clean with it we do take some liberties here and there for those of you who may be watching in India and um, kind of hear some notes a little squirrely on the edge of the raga that is not done out of ignorance <laughs> um, and with all due respect we are trying to bring who we are to the music our backgrounds our who we are and the music we've played our whole lives so we can play honest music within this beautiful tradition. And again, I say respect to all, all the gurus and forgive us for any offense. It's a learning process, so please forgive us, those raga purists out there. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, purists are important. Yeah. I believe in you. Innovators are important, and the tension they both create, we, we, we need them all. So, um, it has started to rain again here in Los Angeles, and we've been having such a rainy season, and I'm so happy about that because I've been gardening like a mug out there, planting hundreds of seeds, and um, I wanted to just, since we're talking about uh, all kind of good stuff, I want to introduce the best thing in my life, <laughs> my wife Alma, and just how she's been helping in this crisis. And uh, come on up here and tell us what you've been doing. Hey, everybody. My name is, can you see me? Okay. My name is Alma Cielo. I'm sporting a new fashion, the face mask. I'll take it off just for a moment so I can smile at you. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about face masks, but before that I wanted to say that in my belief, the greatest thing that we could do to strengthen ourselves against any virus that's actual or uh, unseen is to practice the power of love. Mm. And that, you can question, well, how, how do you do that? For me, I think especially in these times when we are isolated and distancing ourselves from people we may love and people we may have seen every day. It's so important to maintain connection and to get out of our daily reading the news, all the different things that can cause ourselves to Stress. just go haywire right, with our minds and our emotions because that's what's in the news right now. So what I started doing, I saw an old friend of mine, Christina Wong. She had, um, she's a performance artist, and um, with all of her gigs canceled, she turned to sewing masks for uh, healthcare workers. I got who, mine. Yeah, who right now there's <laughs> such a shortage of masks, and. Um, and I thought, well, I'm feeling a little nervous, and I know when I use my hands and I do something that's maybe not for myself, but I can give to others, it can make a difference in how I feel about myself. And so, so I started sewing masks, and I started sending them first to people that are in my family who are healthcare providers, nurses. Shout out to you, family and friends. Um, and. I have a cousin who's a nurse in Flushing, and a chi, if you are hearing, um, thank you for all that you do. And thank you to all the people who are out there um, putting 
themselves on the line to care for people who are sick. Um, may God bless you. Um, as somebody who isn't a healthcare worker, I started sewing masks and sending them. And I tell you, after I put that first packet in the mail, I felt the, the love in my heart growing and empowering me. And so I encourage you, even if you don't sew, maybe you're a baker, maybe you're a chef, maybe you write beautiful notes and you're an artist. Bring a little bit of that to somebody you may love. Maybe bring a little bit of that to somebody you don't know that well, but who you know is alone. Um, show a little bit of care. There are people that I wish I could hug right now. Mom, Dad, that's you. <laughs> and um, sending them a little bit of what I can do um, makes my heart grow. It strengthens my spirit. So instead of being shrunken in with fear about what can happen to me, I'm expanding in my heart for what I can give to others. So, um, and this is a gift to us when we give, when we give our music, when we give our art, when we give our talents. So I encourage you to do that. Um, if you're a sewer, bring out that sewing machine. If you have a sewing machine and you're not a sewer, bring it out and donate it, lend it out. Um, there are so many groups online. You could look up Auntie's Sewing Squad with Christina Wong. That's the one I joined. There are different hubs through the cities. Um, you could even call the hospital. I don't know if you should call hospitals now, but you can find out among your, among your community if there are people who need masks, if you can sew. Or, or just find out, you know, put your feelers out for what you can give. Who might be able to appreciate that and who might need that? So I don't want to take up too much time when there's beautiful music to be played. But I hope everybody is keeping safe when they go out. Remember when you wear these. I know it feels funny if you're not used to wearing them. You could be like Trump and just say, you know, you can wear them, but you don't have to wear them. But I know if I'm out and I'm shopping or I'm with people like out for a walk, I think, I think it's better to use masks because it just keeps them safe and keeps us safe. It's not a, it's not a, um, you know, it's not in place of social distancing or not seeing people at all, but at least if we go out, we can do so extra step. with a little bit of, uh, you're not just taking care of yourself, more. but taking care of others that way. Okay. All right. Thank Lots you. All of love. On that note of staying safe, I just want to do a little shout out to one of my favorite little guys who's very close to the heart of many of us here. His name is Kuma Jacobson. And uh, this is his art right here. So talk about creativity. And so I was thinking about what kind of creative stuff I could do with this. So I put this together. This says I'm not going. So I just added a little, a little message to that. So you misspelled virus big. Oh, well, that's okay. Get the picture. <laughs> so, here you go. Love you, Kuma. And all you kids out there, stay safe, be cool, and I'm not going to spread the coronavirus. All right. What's next, PJ? Well, we've got a, a rainy got a season, rainy Raga. Season? Raga, that we did a... Uh, We're going to do something with? Earlier, yeah. So. All right. Thanks for hanging in there, y'all. We got a couple other just shorter pieces to finish off this live cast concert. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Listen, if you feel like making a donation, we would really support it, but only if you're in a position to do so, because many of us are not right now. Many of us have lost work. Um, we've The two of us have lost almost all of our concerts for probably the next at least three, four months. Um, so... That is not an appeal for anybody to uh, who's in the same position, which is many of you, to to feel bad about being here and not giving. 
But if you are in the position, support the Soul Force Project. Uh, we are artists promoting the relevance of nonviolence. We are producing events now, safe events inside. We hope to keep doing this once a month. Um, but your support would be uh, really appreciated if you are able, and only if, okay? Because this is not about money. This is not about fundraising. This is about just sharing love. So we really appreciate your presence, number one. So um, we just got another dose of rain. We're going to play a little monsoon raga now uh, that we've been working up, which has some influence from the Drupad tradition and the Jor movement, which is the pulsing um, improvisation and thematic development that comes from Drupad music. And uh, a lot of the compositions we've been playing traditionally would have tabla. And you see our very uh, quiet tabla player here. Um, <laughs> I've never played with such a quiet tabla player, but um, we look forward to playing with many of you tabla players out there, if there are any in the future. And maybe, uh, I know my friend Cal's playing along. So, uh, but this piece traditionally would not have tabla anyway, because it is the jor. Sometimes in Drupad, the Pokawaj would accompany the jor, which is very cool and something I'm trying to learn about. So, this goes out to our late Guru Pandit Ramakant Gundecha. We love you, we miss you. And um, this is jor, very short alap, and jor in rag meg. And uh, we really appreciate all this rain, so we're going to play off that theme. And uh, keep sharing out there. We love that people are interacting because that's one of our intentions. And keep it, keep it positive. Let us know what you're doing to, to help others to, uh, to even stay fit, to stay healthy in your mind. And um, while we're going through all of this together, we are all in this together. Let's rehumanize ourselves and and uh, look at it that way, please. You guys do it too now? Yep. social distance. <laughs> okay, okay, they're waiting for food.